Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mana and today is new kit day. Yay! We are getting two new kits and they are on this side and here they are. These two here, we are getting basement treasures kit and greenhouse haven kit and I've already got them in my game. So let's hop into it and give them a peek. Okay, so welcome to The Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven. We have a room to grow. This kit includes a build. This kit includes build items designed for creating the perfect greenhouse structure, craft an ideal windowed haven for your Sims to indulge their green thumbs and live out their gardening fantasies. Signs of life. Even the most organized gardeners need tools, pots, plant starters, gloves, and spray bottles will make your greenhouse look like a space your Sims love to spend time in. I'm looking very forward to this one. If you didn't know, I live in Canada and right now it's spring. So that means we at least have one more blizzard left in our roster. I'm in the middle of one right now. So I'm really looking forward to a garden. Okay, let's check out the next one. Welcome to the Sims 4 Basement Treasures Kit. Just a little dusty. Sometimes you have to sift through the basement to uncover a few gems. They might look a little scuffed up, but they still have plenty of use and a whole lot of character. Precious memories. Add a little history to your decor. Do these items have sentimental value to your Sims or are they simply what they're making do with? Maybe that was their mom's favorite recliner or their grandparents' old television. Create new memories from the old. Now let's hop in and check out these items. We also had a update on two days ago, which was our Tuesday update. And we got a new song, it's right here. And we also, on the gallery, you can download her sim and you can use Becca. Becca has arrived in the gallery also and her new song is in Simlish and on the radio station. So we the update also came with a bug, a facial expression bug which kind of squishes your face. I've been kind of scared to jump into my games to see what it is, but from what I've heard that it is not forever. Once they fix it, it'll go away. So we'll just have to bear with it until the fix comes. Okay, here's the new Sim that the, the Sims team has created. She sings one of the similar songs in that was released in the latest patch. So. She's going to come live here in this nice little greenhouse that we made. It, don't worry, there's a house underneath both kits. So we're going to be looking at the windows. There's a whole bunch of different ones. This is a medium, like the walls are medium so that we could get it all. So this does come in a whole heck of a lot more colors. And then uh, like the mesh, the mesh windows, that is really cool i like that kind of gives me chicken coop vibes and then there's the window here that comes in all of these i i made the entire outside all of the colors all the swatches of the windows and then these are the medium sized windows and they come in all the swatches as well and then there is this fan this fan is really cool it actually moves when you're in in the live mode. It's so cute. And then this is a regular size wall door. And it comes in all the cool, cute, cute um, swatches as well. They're pretty basic. And then this thing up here is all alone on its own. It's for a smaller shed, greenhouse shed type of thing like it I wish I wish it came in like a larger size as well but I guess I could let's see let's let's try and oh it comes in jai freaking enormous or small okay so let's take a look at inside here I have a look at the wall swatches first this is the wall paint for the greenhouse so it comes in all these upper swatches so as you can see you take it away and it's just kind of a, a slat type of thing. And then up here is the, the other part. And then they, it's almost like a stucco or painted gyprock 
kind of thing over top and it's all the basic colors of the windows and then as i don't want to like ignore this because this thing is very sweet i like this little planter it comes in a bunch of very nice colors and while i'm here let's look at the floor swatches so this is a swatch this one this this they're all really nice and i like that the bricks have little moss bits in them and then the bricks all kind of change from like traditional brick cutout to flat bricks i don't know what else i would use them for maybe like patios or something that would be really pretty i like this little gardening little table here these are this is a, a thing i've placed on this is one of the little cute plants and it has pot colors cute and this is a planter i'm gonna just move that out of the way and then we got some greenhouse buckets and fertilizers and it's got gardening gloves and all that little tin container I like that. It is really cute. It looks like we'd be gone or look at that chicken feed and plain and then flower, flower power, flower bulbs maybe or, you know, seeds or special dirt for the for the seedlings. And then over here, I have another pot thing and then we have a shelf that comes in all of the colors as well and I just love the little seedlings like look at that that is so cute you could pretend that your little garden is you've got little starter plants for your garden in the shed it has oh look at and it's different stages of growth oh that is cute for storytelling and then all of these have different stages as well Oh, I like that. And then we have down here, maybe some neem oil to get rid of some bugs or cleaners for when we, you know, you just need to clean yourself up or fertilizers, little drip drop fertilizers, purify the water, or even you can pretend that you've got like cayenne pepper to get rid of the squirrels out of your garden or cayenne or whatever that thing you put in to the garden to keep the cats from peeing in your garden you know that thing and then the cute little planter pots it's like these pots but they're all stacked up oh i like it and then there's a bunch more of the same kind of pot cute and i like this shelving unit the shelving unit is really nice I, you could repurpose this quite a bit and then we have this little plant that they had in the sims one as well oh that's a cute little broken pot i like it i like the plant and then we have this like it's a stool i do believe and yeah it, you can actually open it. it's storage look at that so now we're gonna go downstairs and look at the dingy basement we've got going on so i'm gonna turn around here and we're gonna look at the paint swatches so they're really basic, dingy basement. It almost looks like there's been water damage. It is different colored for on the bottom than it is on the top. And then we've got all these different, different mold or, you know, water damage, some drywall damage, scratches and scrapes, some bricks showing some mold over here. This is mold. This is kind of cool. Like you've had a damp basement and it's yucky so while we're in this corner let's take a look this we've got this guy here he's pretty cool and then this trunk i do believe is just like a table and then this is our like old dingy leather couch all wrecked the cat has been wrecking it for a while and then this broken lamp somebody's kid hit the ball on it and it tilted the lampshade look at that it's been moldy and gecky and sun bleached and then your old uh your wife finally made you get rid of your shelving unit from college it, <laughs> it i like the damaged look to it it's really neat 
go over this way. So this is a pile of chairs, but it is, it, it's a table. You can put stuff on top of it. It's really neat. And then this is the disassembled heart bed. It's been over 20 years. Yet this old vibromatic will still have you feeling flirty as you recall the good old days when you were living large. It has a lot of history and it shows. Nonetheless, there is still some motion in the ocean and maybe the vibration engine could even work again one day. This unique piece captures such a special place in our hearts that we can't quite part with it. <laughs> I like it, I like it. If you didn't know, this is the vibrating bed from The Sims 1 and 2. And was it in 3? I don't know if it was in 3. And then we have this picture oh that's cute it's got kids on it oldie time pictures oh and it's broken oh it's super cute and then this must be thing is like grandma's nicky knacks so it's kind of broken oh it's like a plaque or something it's just really random junk that you keep accumulated here. This mirror has some other little picture frames and whatnot. I like that the mirror is also broken. Like, I don't know why we're keeping it, but it's beautiful and it probably cost us three bazillion dollars. So we better keep it. We'll, we'll put new uh, mirror in it someday. This is like our old luggage. And we, for some reason it is taking up our dolly. And that luggage is just wrecked. It's gross. I love it. Oh, and boxes. Oh, water stained, crunched. Oh yeah, water stained and crunched. Beautiful. And then this, oh yeah, from old school books and things. It's like, oh, mom, you can keep that. <laughs> or mom's keeping it. I'm gonna give it to you someday. And then grandma and grandpa's old records or your old records. Cute. And then this is the mirror that is still Great, but ooh, oh, that one's broken. It's got a little, you know, water damage at the top here. It's a little dusty and dirty. This stuff. Okay, so this is the new couch and it is very cute. Oh, this is grandma's couch, isn't it? So all the laundry, like it, it's like someone puts like laundry on there. Someone's gonna grab that someday. It's so cute. And then there's this little ugly coffee table that matches your bookshelf it's, it's seen better days it, it really really does and then i'm just gonna move this out of the way and this is like the old tiny televisions where this is the remote for it and then the speakers and the tv and it was like it was a cupboard i never had that our my family never had one of those but <laughs> my in-laws had one and then oh i had a basement tv that we played our nintendo on it this was I love rabbit tvs that's so funny and then old board games that you just don't play with anymore but you just for some reason can't get rid of them oh yeah look at that and that is exactly how those tvs actually work too like if you put anything electronic near the ears or move the ears at all it it was horrible. And then the dials, that was fun. That was fun, trying to dial in the Nintendo and the TV at the same time. Oh, and I almost forgot the telephone. <gasps> that would have been horrible. Oh, I miss me a corded telephone. Oh man, I gotta look at the swatches. I even forgot to look at those myself. Oh, and then like a lunch kits with it. Oh, that is so cool. And it's dirty and yucky. Oh, I love it. I wish we had like a real one. Oh, and it's a rotary, rotary kind. That, that's weird. I've never seen a rotary in, in one of these kind of phones. Has anybody else seen a rotary phone like this before? I've never seen a rotary phone quite like that. I've had the button kind, but not rotary in the handheld part. Is that a youngster making stuff and they didn't know what it looked like, but they knew it was supposed to go there? And well, that is the kits. But that was our kits and I really, really liked them. I really, I really did. I kinda am a little disappointed in the greenhouse one. I was hoping for a little more because I mean, I love, 
I love the greenhouse. I like the, the growing things kind of aspect. Maybe I missed a whole bunch of stuff. I'm good at forgetting a bunch of things. So maybe I just forgot. But I mean, there is a whole bunch of windows. So maybe that ate up a lot of the budget. For what we did get, I like this stuff. And that basement kit, oh my goodness, that is gonna be absolutely perfect for my apocalypse challenge or my grungy university basements or, you know, when my Sims become grandparents and they just wanna throw some stuff in their basement. And it gives me an excuse to make basements because apparently not everybody has a basement, but. Where I'm from, basements are it. You have to have a basement. Very, very rare to not have a basement here. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like these kind of review videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to comment down below if you have this pack already and what you're enjoying in it and what was your favorite little piece of clutter. But with all that being said, thank you very much for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now. I'm going to be living my very best greenhouse gardening life with this stuff. I'm going to pretend like there's no snow outside. <laughs>